no. I knew it, guys. I had this feeling. I just had this feeling. So long. Tyree is dying. He looks pretty darn happy, too. Wait, it just gave the music. Where is he? I'm confused. Hi guys, and welcome back for some more gameplay in the Accidental Time Traveler Legacy Challenge for The Sims 4. So, this is the second time that I am going to try and record this video. The first time I played for about 35 minutes, recorded for about 35 minutes, and my computer crashed. So, when that happens and you don't, obviously I couldn't stop OBS, it corrupts the file and you lose it. So, unfortunately, I lost that first video. So, now I'm going to try it again. Hopefully my computer does not crash, um, so we'll see. But what happened, and I had saved and everything, so this is what has happened. The, in the 35 minutes that I played, we a, changed the um, kids, they grew up, and I rolled their traits with the using the Legacy Challenge Trait Generator. And so this, for the girl, we have Jessica is a bookworm, and she is a whiz kid. And then our heir, Preston, is a rambunctious scamp and is a bookworm as well. And then Jordan is a perfectionist and is a whiz kid. And what is his name? <laughs> There's too many. Parker is an artistic prodigy. Prodigy? I can't talk. I can never talk. But anyways, is an artistic prodigy and is good so that's what we rolled and i not a whole lot happened i mean i had decorated i had changed the way they look and i had did their bedrooms we'll start with the bedroom since we're right here <laughs> and she's actually spraying for the monsters that are under the bed that they encountered which is a really cool thing that came with the kids stuff pack um but these are the beds i just put down for the three boys i had to get rid of the window seat thing cushion because there wasn't enough room and i moved their uh little stand here with some toys on it to over here not a lot of rooms the room is the rooms are a little bit small and then this is Jessica's room, which <laughs> it looks super cute. I don't know why, but girls' rooms just are a lot, a lot more fun to decorate. And we ran out of simoleons. I actually had a couple. I had like 167 simoleons, I think, or something like that, and gained a couple hundred more through uh, selling food plates, you know, into the trash can. And uh, I don't know. I think I did some. I had like a treasure map or something on me. But anyways, we'd be we'd be poor. We'd be poor ass broke. So I can't make do their bathrooms even because, yeah, no money. So this is what we have here. Um, so this is Preston. Yes, this is Preston, who is our heir. He is just fearing for his life because of the monster under the bed. I really like how they came out. He is super cute. And then over here we have Jordan, who he is just beside himself. Look at this. Look at this kid. He is just beside himself. And then let's find where the other two are. Oh, Jessica's down here by herself, staring at a blank TV screen. That isn't even on. <laughs> So anyways, I really like how she came out. This hair that I chose for her, I believe came with the kids stuff pack. It is super cute with the little braid going down the side. I think it's adorable. And the outfit she's wearing, I think is from the backyard or no, it's from the kids stuff pack as well. Um, let's see where else we have Parker is pestering his dad and he looks super cute. Now I changed his hair to brown. Why is it black? I don't even know, but oh well actually looks quite a bit like his dad Floyd who happens to resemble Corey but anyway um, so yes those are the kids so they have a long while hit 13 days before they grow up so we'll be playing with these these kids for a while so that is that I guess that's all about happened was they had gone to bed because they you know were tired and these monsters just popped out so Ava's going to age up here in two days, so she'll be the next event for having a birthday. And she wants to have fun. She's spraying for monsters. Did she get them? Ooh, look, no more monsters. The other boys come in to check things out. 
So let's see, this one's not very happy. He's hungry. Let's have him come down to the refrigerator and get um, something to eat. How about some pancakes? Oh, they're all not, they're all uncomfortable. Oh, he's probably tired. Oh, look at, look, look at the, look at the monsters under the bed. So sorry about it. I had to take a couple screenshots of that. Never know when you might use it. So, okay, we he needs to get some kind of sleep, but he's not going to. This one doesn't have any. Is this his? Nope. This is not his either. Oh, this is his bed, but he won't sleep. Chris is too scared to sleep in a bed right now. Oh, he's tired. Okay, quick. Whoops. Quick. Yes, yes, we need to spray. My goodness. Spray that monster under the bed. How come she doesn't have any monsters under her bed? Oh, spray. It's still working. Okay, I he needs, didn't I tell him to go downstairs and get some food? No, that was the other boy. Okay, open, get some pancakes. No, we're not gonna place that in the world. What? Oh, it's empty. We will then put it over here for right in a second, get some Mac and cheese, isn't that what you'd eat for breakfast? That's what I'd eat for breakfast, to be honest. To be perfectly honest, I would eat pizza for breakfast as well. I will just eat pizza all the time anyways, but anyways. So he's eating. Preston, can you just take a nap? Because you're going to go to school in like an hour or so. She wants to have fun. Is she watching the cooking channel again? Nope, she's just watching B B E Twee Between. What? What is she watching? A rock band. Oh, it's like a music video. Wow, he had lights shooting out of his chest. Look, this is like retro, man. <laughs> this is hilarious. I've never really watched the um, TV too much on here. I don't know why. Okay, you can watch the cooking channel. How about that? Watch the cooking channel. And they're done with that. Okay, whoops. What time does Floyd, does Floyd go to work today? He goes in four hours and he is working on his pro programming skill, which he's, he must have just leveled up. And this boy is going to mourn his ancestors <laughs> out here. What does he want? Stargaze with Ava. Hmm. And let's talk to monsters under the bed. Well, I think we should leave those monsters alone. So I think what I'm going to do is, after the kids go to school, I think we're going to go ahead and open up the shop. It has been a few days since, well, since the babies, since uh, they have been born, which has been a few days. Um, yeah, I think we'll open it up and see what, if we have a, a good business day. She's just sitting here. She hasn't done her homework because they, they just grew up, so like... They're going to go to school pretty darn quick, probably. Oh, they don't go to school for two days. Oh, wow. Is it because they were just born? And that's, I never pay attention, guys. I never pay attention. Okay, well, let's just go open the shop then. We'll leave these kids be. Actually, let's have them, he's sleeping probably, but let's have them do their homework. And we will have him do his homework. Whoops. And his homework. So another thing I was thinking about, and this isn't going to happen, obviously, for a while, since Preston is our heir, I was thinking that when he becomes a teenager, he could get a job in retail and sort of train in that, so to speak, and then take over Ava's business because she'll be getting older and he could just kind of take over. And maybe he might even start a restaurant, like a fast food chain or something instead. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we'll close down the clothing shop and open up a fast food restaurant. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see where it takes us. I never know um, where we're going to go with that. So we will go ahead. She's doing pretty good. We're going to go ahead and go here and open that okay, shop. Okay, here we are. I also did change her clothes. I gave her this super cute jumper um, for, I mean, 
it's from the backyard, I guess. Backyard. It's from the backyard line. Yeah, that's it. No, it's from the backyard stuff bag, I think. It is really, really cute. I really like it. Um, so we are going to actually restock a couple things. It looks like we're out of a lot, but we don't have a lot of money. So we'll just restock this. We have anything over here. Holy cow, we've been cleaned out, guys. We have been cleaned out. Can I not click on that? Why can't I? Oh, duh. Let's just use the right buttons, Jen. That's what you need to do. I think that's about all we can do. Two, four, six, eight. That just took about a thousand of our simoleons. So, I think I will go ahead and open. Open for business. So our, I think, did we ever switch employees? Because he was old, I think. Oh, here's our new, is this our new guy? Did we hire him? Oh, we did. Guys, I feel like it's been so long since we, oh, we had, we hired him as an additional employee. That's right. And our Arthur here is getting very old. Like he is, <laughs> or not Arthur. What did I say? Arthur for Tyree. Oh my gosh. This is Arthur, isn't it? Yes. Yes, I can't keep these sims straight. So, I think he is stocking. Is he stocking? No, he is not. He better not, because, like, we'd be poor, 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 poor. So, we have two employees, that's right. I feel it's been a long while since we've opened up our shop, and it, I mean, it's only been a few days since the babies were born, and they grew up already, but, yeah. That's right, I forgot. He's If he dies in the store, guys, oh my gosh. I have had the worst luck with people dying in our establishments through various gameplays. So <laughs> we're in the you. hole by a negative 35. But we have to have items to sell if we're going to sell anything. So after she is, did I assign them, uh, let's see, assign work test. He's bringing up customers, and he's probably restocking, assign. Yeah, he's. Ret I don't want him to restock. How about he can? Ugh, I don't even remember his. Um, he needs to stop first of all. Oh my gosh, we're gonna be like in no money at all. Oh, okay, he needs. We get, we need to manage employees. I don't remember what his skill set was. We're gonna change him. We can't restock. We don't have the mula. The mula is gone. Oh no. Okay, so he is very bad in sales. He is good at worth ethnic. Let's have him just clean right now because, yeah, we're just going to have him clean. Stop what you're doing and clean the store. And then we could talk to this lady. We'll greet the customer. Oh, Bozo is back. He's a longtime customer. She's a kleptomaniac. Um, hmm, that could be dangerous in our store. Let's have her answer questions, and she can ask about price range, and discuss shopping preferences. Did somebody just say they're ready to check out? Is he not going? He's sitting there talking. Oh my god. Just go ring up the damn customer already. Look at this. But he's so old, I can't just reprimand him. He's too old. He needs to retire. He needs to retire. I thought I fired him. No? <laughs> okay. Oh, he's going to do it now. Uh-oh. What's he? He just scares me. He's going to die in our store. He's going to die in our store. We are prepared. He's thinking about a, a reclining chair to lay in and die. Why I'm are they sure. crying? Oh, my gosh. We've got two bozos. We've got a bozo lady and a bozo man. So can we talk, ask about price range, and we will discuss shopping preferences, and answer questions. We've sold two things. Wow, we are just the best. We are just the best. Where's our other employee at? Did he, like, leave? Um... Oh, he's out here. What the hell? Look at this. He's playing on his phone. I think he kicked over the trash can. 
Dude, you're about to be fired. What the hell? Berate for slacking? Yes, we are. What are you thinking? This is not break time. This is not break time. Oh, we are. Oh, he just leveled up. Hold the phone. I, I get so clicky and I click off things. Reach sales skill level two. Arthur has become a smidge better salesman and can now ring up customers slightly faster. He is also a bit more successful when attempting sales interactions with shoppers. Okay, so that is good. I was just wondering if he could level up and I thought he could, but I wasn't for sure. So now I know for sure that is great. She's going to have to eat because she's going to die if she doesn't. We're going to close the shop here anyway in a little bit. Hey, boss, you've kept me. Okay, we're going to... We are going to go ahead and close. I think he just left, yes. Because she's tired anyway. We lost money because of all the restocking. So when we come in the next day, we won't restock anything because we need to make some simoleons. We, are, we lost a lot of money, actually. So we are going to... I want to come over here and have her manage employees. I want to see if... We can find a different, you know, let Tyree go and see if we can find somebody else. Okay, so he's very unsatisfied anyway. He's satisfied. Um, I think these will change once we, if we let him go. So let's fire him. Sorry, dude, you're very old and... We don't want you to die in our store, which he might show up anyway and die in our store. store. <laughs> so let's see what we've got now. So promote Arthur knows to level four. She's old too. Gosh, there, look at this. Old, 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 old. The only young ones is this Isabella and Caleb. I don't want Caleb, but maybe we'll hire her. She's pretty even across the board. She could come in and do answer customer questions and stuff I guess maybe maybe we will let's hire her there we go hire her okay now we are going to go go home okay so he's she is greeted almost every night by her loving husband we're going to have her come in here and sleep yep sleep Let's see how he's doing. Um, he needs to practice some programming, so we are going to have him come in here and... Oh, the kid was on there. I didn't even see him in that, in that chair. Okay, practice programming. And let's see how our kids are all doing. Look, at they all have their homework out, but whose is whose? Um, I'm not sure. She's going to bed. It is 10.30 at night. We'll let her go to sleep. Oh, no, she's not going to bed. Let's do homework. He's got his. Let's do homework. And we'll have him do his homework. And he can do his homework. Oops. So he's practicing. All the kids are doing their homework. Good little kids. I see if they get a good night's rest, you know, with all those monsters under their bed. I think what happened is that he tried, one of the boys tried to talk to the monster under the bed, and that brought them out. And I think if you don't talk to them, maybe they will not come out. I don't know. Maybe it was, maybe it, it was on notification, I think. Parker was unsuccessful in his attempt to communicate with the monster under his bed. Looks like it doesn't want to be friends. Parker has discovered that something strange is currently living under his bed. Jordan has. So, yeah, it was the, um, they had discovered a monster, but I think that just happened on its own. I don't think they went searching, searching, I can't talk. They went, I don't think they went searching for it. Why is this one just sitting here? Do homework. Oh, he is doing homework. It is midnight. We're going to have them go to bed. We'll have him sleep. We'll have him sleep. And him sleep. Oh, he's already. And she's taken her forever to do her homework. Oh, no, there it goes. Homework is complete. 
Hallmark is complete. No, you're not going out. You are not going out. We'll see if those monsters come out. Ah, there's a ghost. You're not. You're afraid of something under your bed, but you're not afraid of that ghost. You ain't afraid of no ghost. Ghostbusters. Sorry. That was, yeah. <laughs> Whoops. So let's have, what is he doing? Oh, we're going to have him go to bed. He's like, oops. Go sleepies. When does he work next? In two days. Okay, so he's got a couple days off. I feel like he just had some days off. What is his work schedule? Oh, he only works. He did just have a day off. Um, he works Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturdays. That's kind of a nice little schedule. Okay, so Preston is up. He, I did just go, I had 1,700 simoleons, so I went ahead and bought the cheapest toilet sink and shower for both of the bathrooms up here because for having four kids, one bathroom is not enough. And, you know, growing up, one of seven, uh, we had one bathroom, and it was hell. Let me just tell you, it was not fun. Anyways, we're going to have just a little FYI about myself. Um, we're going to have him go to the bathroom. She is cooking breakfast. And yeah, the others are. She's still going to make some breakfast scramble. Let's see how delicious this is going to be. Actually, it does look really good. I must be hungry again. <laughs> Whenever I sit down to record these, I feel like I'm hungry a lot. So, whoa, whoa, everybody just turned orange on me. They're all off to school, too. Shoot. Um, he's hungry, so we're going to have him. <sighs> We're going to have him come down and get some breakfast. And he has two days off, so she's going to school. They're all going to school hungry. Oh. Then we're going to have Ava here open the store again. But I want to put this in the refrigerator because it will spoil while she's gone. I've had that happen First of before. all, we need to clean this up. Oh, pick up. and throw away. We're going to go ahead and open. We're going to let her come and play on the computer. Her fun is really, 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 really far down until people start arriving because it takes a little while. Let's hope we have a better uh, day today because we need the simoleons right now and we want to have our business do better. So, is this our lady? She needs to put on her uniform. Manage Isabella. Because that be not her work uniform. Employee uniforms assign female. Yeah, that's what we assigned. Oh, maybe she hasn't changed? Why? He has gotten maintenance three. We're going to have her, we're going to assign her answer customer questions. And we will have him ring up customers. And we will do all of the above. Um, welcome back, Bozo. Let's come over here and ask about price range and answer questions. It's the weekend. Jessica wraps up this week with a C in school. That's really satisfactory. <laughs> They're all that way. Oh, Jordan is not the first C student at the Land Grab Elementary. <laughs> yes, we all After this guy, that. I think we're going to close the store because she's about to pass out and it's been open for nine hours. Okay. She's sick. Why? We got Pepto-Bismol in our thing. Okay, we're going to close. So we made, this is much better, we made, we sold um, seven things, uh, 1,500 simoleons worth, and took out our wages of 465, and we made, so we made 1,039 simoleons, that's good. That's better than yesterday's. So we'll take it. Um, we also have a bunch of perk points now, so let's see what we would want. We have the additional employee already for that one. Faster checkouts, we already got. What's this? Management social interaction performed on store employees will have a greater chance of succeeding. That could be nice because it seems like they don't listen to us. 
and we don't have enough for any of this. Let's see what we could get. Customers will have a greater desire to purchase an item when they first enter the store. Larger, I think we'll save it. We're almost to this one, faster checkouts. Yeah, and it's a large one, so I think we will save it for that. So we'll okay, head home we're now. back, and she's about dead tired. But I think I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. I think next time when we get together, it will be her birthday because she is going to age up in one day. So that would be tomorrow. So I do think that we are not going to have her go to work. It's going to be the weekend anyway. The kids will have off. I think Corey or Corey. I want to keep calling him Corey because he honestly is like the clone of him. So Floyd, he let's see when he he does work on Saturday, but he has Sunday off. But it, tomorrow is her birthday, so maybe when he gets home for work, we will have her birthday party. Um, or maybe he'll take it off. He does have vacation time, I think. He has four days. Okay, so maybe he'll yes, we'll have him take a vacation day, and we're gonna have a big birthday party for her because she's going to be an adult and I also would like to I don't know how I'm going to do this because I have no room and I don't really want to get rid of the swimming pool but I want to use some of the stuff from the backyard stuff pack like the water slide and make like a I can sell this and get one of the newer the newer one um, table and chairs for backyard stuff I want to decorate and um, yeah, I'm out of room. If you look on my lot, there is basically no room at all. The only thing I could probably do is if I got rid of, like, the hedges here, pushed back the, maybe if I pushed back, made this porch smaller, that could be, I might make this porch smaller, get rid of these trees and put it in the front yard. It's kind of weird to have water slide in the front yard when it should be in the backyard. But I really like this setup. I like this little swim pool, but they don't really use it. If I got rid of all of this, this, this would one, give us more simoleons, and two, would give us enough room for the water slide and stuff. I will save it as a surprise. I just had an idea and I'll save it as a surprise. So, um, yes. So it'll be her birthday, we'll have a birthday party, and we'll decorate the, I'll decorate the backyard off camera. And yeah, so it'll be, it'll be a lot of fun. We're gonna have a fun birthday party for Ava because she's going to be an adult. So I thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.